Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34 and today I'll be talking about the battle pass for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, make sure you stop by in Call of Duty right now to check out the battle pass and see what they offer. It is currently $10 US money, and of course, it's I thought it was gonna be for free to be honest, but apparently the battle pass is kind of similar to Fortnite where pretty much you're gonna be earning back those COD points to buy the next battle pass. So uh, the battle pass guys, it came with a few free things of course, after you purchase it of course. Pretty much the operator that I'm having right now is Mara. This is one of the first few unlocks that you get. Uh, new operator, but I still believe you know, the operators are just a waste of time at this point since they don't have any special abilities or maybe even carry an extra perk. I mean, they're quite just there. So that's why I'm not excited over Mara. But yeah, that's one of the few things you unlock in the battle pass. So here it is. Here's the battle pass, of course, right where you purchase it. You unlock like a few things in the first few tiers um, right away. Of course, you get Mara, you get uh, Nightshade along with a watch and of course you get double xp token but like you know some of these things are really not necessary since pretty much you can't prestige so double xp token to me is like nothing the first uh tier of course you get to unlock some of the variants and there's several of these along the way in the battle pass so to be honest this is not as exciting as it looks because i know people are gonna say like oh it's variants it's variants but like you can unlock them yourself if you play the game it doesn't increase the damage it doesn't decrease the damage or give you some kind of special abilities it's just variants so it's just not worth it to really unlock and then you get some call signs of course some emblems it's good to like show off a little bit for your you know uh with your call sign and emblems and all that stuff i mean some of them are cool i, I don't mind some of them are way better over the past few years you know the call sign and emblems haven't been respected like it used to be back in modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 so uh some of these actually look pretty cool and decent you know thank you for whoever designed them i think some of the knives are actually looking pretty cool though i think that one i have no complaints of so like like if it does change the image of the weapon to something like this then maybe yes you know the variants would work but as far as i know some of the variants do not have any kind of impact because some of these you can already unlock them yourself so far it has not impressed me on the operator skins you get to unlock more stickers for your gun which is okay-ish which is good because so far i only got like four stickers that are unlocked from the regular missions so some of these are okay-ish you know the stickers i guess just to show off more on your gun uh more double xp now this is what i was talking about the cod points of course they give you 100 cod points along the way so you can play like around 900 so you can buy the next battle pass for free so like i tell you you buy the battle pass now the rest of the battle passes will be for free um next up we get more spray can marks which really doesn't not it's not as exciting as you think it is uh more weapon variants oh actually this is the weapon this is the base weapon actually for the hoger 26 this is one of the new assault rifles and actually one of the new lmg sorry uh this is one of the new lmgs that you can unlock and use and uh you got to you got to get to tier number 15 to unlock it so um i still haven't used it yet but I am, I am gonna use it pretty soon so i can tell you guys if it works or not if it's better than some of the lmgs out there because recently i've only been you know pretty much using my own kinds of weapons but the hoger i haven't tested it out yet which i will pretty soon so the rest of the stuff is pretty much more weapon variants and uh not as impressive like who the hell uses an acog on a freaking mp5 uh more weapon variants double xp uh skins i think some of these things needed to be on the default part of the game like on the first day of release some of these things needed to be there already so um i don't know why they put these things as like it was new when some of these like this is way too bright i wouldn't recommend using the skin because it makes you stand out from miles away neon colors in the battlefield are gonna get you killed just letting you guys know or variants again uh not really like a different att attachment at all i mean it's it's not that it's exciting buckshot now receives a helmet uh more cp and a lot of things that are just pretty much repeated over and over again and, uh, and attachments you can you can already unlock by yourself uh, i'm telling you some of these things are not really that good it kind of reminds me of apex legend season one where it was mostly skins and uh double xp and that's about it <laughs> you know it's not as exciting and you get to unlock new, two new weapon skins at the end which is the guns that were already in the game so um 
at least the difference between the season pass of apex legends compared to this one uh this one you actually get two new guns uh more watches uh the call sign this one doesn't look that bad to be honest this one's all right um let's see this is a swamp weed yeah more more uh, variants and then of course you get to unlock a new skin for the new operator mara so pretty much that's the whole battle pass you get to unlock a lot of skins a lot of call signs double xps uh, coins or tokens whatever and uh, that's about it um, is it worth it to spend on the battle pass season one not really but if you want to skip paying battle pass after battle pass after battle pass complete this one right now you got 60 days so you can get the next battle pass for free if you don't start it now the next one will cost you 10 bucks again so it's better for you to start right now just buy the battle pass right now and get it over with so you can get the next one for free and uh like at the end of the day you know i gotta tell you guys this it's not really worth completing the whole thing but get, just get the free freaking cp so you can buy the next battle pass for free so that's pretty much my opinion about this whole situation if you guys got any questions any moans groans or complaints you guys can leave in the comment section so this is it guys that's the battle pass and um i'll be uploading more call of duty content later on so i'll see you guys later and subscribe for more call of duty